Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be for those of you guys that are currently dealing with the situation where there is no contact. Let's get into it. This is going to be for all the zodiac signs. We're going to start here with Aries. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, give us clarity and insight. What is unfolding for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for those that are dealing with the no contact situation? What is to be unfolding? What can they expect in the next coming in the next coming weeks, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get into it. We're starting off here with the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the World, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. So for some of you guys, there could have been a separation. There could have been a breakup. Uh, there could have been a third party situation, or perhaps they were dealing with a third party. Um, the Ten of Swords does indicate to me uh, getting to a point where there was an ending, but it was a very painful ending. However, with the Nine of Cups, there is a higher level of commitment that is going to be unfolding. The Empress does speak about uh, sitting back and waiting uh, or, or being patient in this process. The World Card is an ending cycle, but it also indicates the elevation of this connection or this uh, non-existing commitment so for some of you guys you could have been dealing with the situation where you've been with them for a while they just didn't want to make it official and the reason for it is because they were entertaining other people however there was some type of awakening here that happened where they kind of started comparing you um with the person that perhaps they were dealing with and they just came to realize you cannot compare the queen to anyone else, right? Or the king to anyone else. The empress is all about uh, unconditional love. It is all about the abundance of, of love in itself. So there was a, a realization here, and I definitely do see them stalking or looking at what you're doing, but you will be hearing from them. There is communication that opens up. And again, like I said, if there is a rekindling or a reconciliation, there is definitely um, a higher level of commitment that is going to be unfolding. I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card here uh, to kind of sum up and, and bring all the reading together exactly what it is that they were dealing with or their state of mind. Um, for some of you guys, even why they kind of pulled away. Obviously, for some of you guys, if you were unaware, there could have been a third party. For some, you may already be aware of this. All right, so the card we have here is I know you're watching me. So there is a feeling of someone watching someone. Uh, I definitely do see them looking at you or looking at what you're doing. Um, but you could have been doing this as well, and they're aware of that. And I feel that that's kind of the, the, the motivation or the feeling of knowing that you're still interested in them, um, which is why it's bringing them to decide to push forward and want to contact you or to open communication so i am seeing communication opening up here for some of you guys this person could have actually been or gotten into another relationship but with the ten of swords it came to a conclusion so that could be the reason why they're coming back around or they're trying to reach out um things were just you know the grass was just not greener on the other side all right, my lovelies, let's go now to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is unfolding for them with the no contact uh, connection or relationship that they're dealing with? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, no contact. What can they expect for the next coming weeks? What can they expect? What is unfolding? All right, here we go. We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles here. One more card. King of Wands. Okay. So you may be dealing with a water energy for others. You may be dealing with another earth energy or water energy as well. I definitely see them um, really, they got to the point where they were feeling comfortable either with the distancing or the pulling away it could have been that things had them a lot of things were going on that had them a bit distracted seven of wands there was someone in this connection was acting single um or 
wasn't ready for any type of commitment. And I feel like they're very, very guarded. Uh, but with the Five of Cups, I do see them missing you. I do see them looking towards you and, and wanting to reach out because they are, I should say, because you are constantly on their mind. Um, and, and something that they were fighting, uh, you know, the commitment or the getting emotionally invested in you was something that they were trying to fight off. Um, I feel like they are in their feelings about this situation. And I, I do see them making a move towards you. Um, and for some of you guys, you may actually end up being surprised that this person comes to you and is in a completely different state of mind because I do see them really uh, trying to analyze if they're ready to take it to the next level or if they should, you know, if I do get closer to Taurus, am I okay with getting attached? Um, and that's something that they've been kind of fighting um, and that could have been the reason why there was distancing. However, I do see them contemplating the idea of some type of higher commitment here. All right, let me pull out an Oracle card. Show me the mentality. Show me the mentality or the thoughts that were in Taurus's partner or person of interest. Okay, and we have, I don't know what to say. So that could be the reason why you, they haven't reached out to you as of yet, Taurus. They do feel like uh, they don't really know or, or how to open communication. They There may be a fear of being rejected here. Um, but I still see the King of Wands is coming out at the very bottom, which indicates they're going to uh, go into or they're going to listen to the impulse of reaching out. So I do see them uh, reaching out to you. Um, but that's kind of what they're struggling with right now. They don't really know how to open communication. They don't know how to come towards you. Uh, and mostly it has to do with the fear of being rejected or the fear of you being completely closed off at this point. Um, because Seven of Pentacles does indicate to me a situation that was something ongoing. Perhaps you got tired of waiting. Perhaps you got tired of you know, waiting for them to decide if they wanted to take it to the next level or if they were going to act right. Um, and again, I feel like the reason why they ran away is because this is a commitment phobe. This is a person that is scared of commitment. They, and not only commitment, but they're scared of getting hurt as well. So um, I do see communication opening up for you guys. All right. Now let's go to Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's unfolding for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for those that are dealing with no communication? What can they expect in the next coming weeks? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Judgment Card, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. All right, so what they're telling you here, Gemini, is continue doing you. Um, page of Pentacles could indicate a message that you've been waiting for for quite a while and they just hadn't reached out. They hadn't tried to um, open up to you and let them let you know exactly what was going on in their life. However, this person does have love for you and they've realized, you know, I can't I can't do better than Gemini. I can't get them. You know, I can't get over them. I can't move on. It must mean that I need to move forward before it's too late. There is a feeling of like, I need to act now and very impulsive. So I don't know, for some of you guys, it could be that you just haven't heard from them in a while. And at this point, they're, reali they're realizing if I don't take uh, charge or if I don't make it happen, they're never going to reach out to me. Um, and they just don't want you to move on at this point. The judgment card is making the decision to reach out. Eight of Wands, com quick communication coming in. Queen of Wands could be fire energy. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, but it can also indicate um, standing your ground, Gemini, uh, not giving in. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been waiting or you could have even sent a message and they just never responded or they wouldn't respond as quickly as you hoped they would. Um, and it kind of left you feeling like I shouldn't have done that or, you know, clearly they're not interested, etc. Um, but what they're saying here is, yeah, they've been in their pride for a while. Um, they've been a bit stubborn, 
you know, stuck in the month, but they are definitely coming towards you and it's going to be happening pretty quick. So you may hear from them in the next coming days. Let's see where they were at mentally, what was holding them back. I fantasize about you. So I feel like for some of you guys, this person that you were dealing with could have been intimidated by you, whether it's because you're extremely social and they're quite the opposite, or they themselves are extremely social and they just felt like uh, it would be a little too much um, dealing with two people that are social butterflies. I feel that it has a lot to do with insecurities, so their insecurities could have taken uh, the best of them, and that could have been the reason why they created this type of distancing or they pulled away. Um, it does show me that this person is a bit impulsive and mature, uh, immature, I should say. Uh, they're very impulsive, uh, so it, it could have been a situation where um, their temper, they just didn't know how to dominate their temper and they would just, you know, blow up or, or have, uh, have misunderstandings, um, something the way you would express yourself, uh, the messages could have been misconstrued and they just flared up or they would just get upset. Um, but I do definitely see that they are a, a bit intimidated by you. Now, this could be because of their insecurities. Um, for others of you, it could just be the fact that they feel like you were too good for them or like they were you were too out of their league. And that's kind of what mentally was messing with them. Um, but they are definitely thinking of you and they will be reaching out. All right, let's go now to Cancer. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them regarding the situation of no contact? What can they expect in the next coming weeks? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them? Okay, here we go. Cancer. We have the Six of Swords. The Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Right at the bottom, uh, Two of Wands, which is something that when I glance at it and it pulls my energy, I definitely have to uh, acknowledge the energy. I do see them missing you, Cancer. I do see them hoping or wishing that... Um, that you'd be the one to reach out. I feel like for some of you guys, you did reach out and they felt like it was a missed opportunity. They could have been so much in their pride um, that they could have either shut you down or completely ignored you. And I feel like right now, they're kind of struggling with the fact of feeling like, is it too late to reach out to cancer? Is it too late for me to try to make it right? Um, and I do see for some of you cancers out there, maybe you felt like you're kind of slowly, progressively moving on from the situation. I see a lot of you guys just tired of it. Uh, Queen of Pentacles could indicate dealing with Earth energy, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo. For others of you, it could just be a person that, um, that you were dealing with that was very stubborn. They're very stuck in their old ways. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, this was a challenge. Uh, the relationship or connection itself was a challenge. Someone in this connection is not as open. Now, a lot of the times um, when a person is not uh, easily able to express their emotions, it could come off as if they are unattached or like they're closed off or they are standoffish, but that's not always the case. Sometimes people do struggle to express their emotions, and I feel like that's the situation here. And I feel like when they would try to express or when they would try to open up, there was almost a feeling of like being judged. So I'm not sure if it was the way you expressed it or the way it would come off, making them feel like you were judging them or perhaps you were um, very critical of the things that they would tell you or how you guys would communicate. Um, but I do see them reaching out to you. However, I do see that for a lot of you guys, when they decide to reach out, it's kind of like the feeling of, okay, you know, I, I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm slowly moving on. It's not fair for you to like 
come back around and try to play with my emotions again. Although I do feel that they're being honest in the communication or in the wanting to reach out to you. But I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, you guys are kind of fed up of this behavior at this point. Let me pull out an oracle card and see where they're at mentally. What is it that they were going through or the reason why they pulled away from this connection? Okay, and we have, I don't know what to say. So yeah, I feel like that, that's something that was coming off very strongly to me, the communication. So it could have been that you being a water energy, it's very easy for you to express your emotions. Sometimes um, your emotions get the best of you and you can come off as mean spirited. For some of you guys, you could be very defensive. You're kind of like, I'm going to cut you with my words. And this person is coming up as earth energy. So they're very strong in their approach of trying to express. So maybe they express harshly or maybe they just didn't communicate uh, the right way. Uh, like I said, very standoffish or cold. And that's what perhaps would frustrate you. Um, but the reason for it is they just don't know how to express it. Um, will they be communicating? I do see them communicating to you. But again, I feel like for some of you guys, you're to the point where you're kind of tired of either dealing with the same situation. This could be a habit. Something that they have a tendency of doing. <clears throat> it's kind of like what I'm hearing is when they are in their emotions, they don't know how to express and they just completely shut down. Um, so that could be the reason why they pulled away. All right, let's get into it with Leo. Let's see what's unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those that are in no contact, what can they expect in the next coming weeks? What is unfolding for them? With their no contact situation, will there be communication opening up? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. We have the King of Cups the full, the ace of cups, six of cups, the moon, and the four of swords. So I do feel like this person is definitely in their emotions about you, Leo. Um, what I'm hearing is there was something that was challenging them in your personality or um, how you carry yourself. Now, the King of Cups could indicate that they are starting to open up. They are starting to get in their emotions or feels about you. They are definitely missing you. Um, they constantly think about the past between you two. But there is almost like this inner struggle that's going on where they feel like if you guys just continuously keep giving each other the opportunity, it's like it's not going to lead anywhere. There is like a recurring cycle that happens here. And at this point they're wanting a change and yes they do have feelings for you yes they still care for you um but they often feel like you're not really transparent about your intentions towards them so what i'm hearing is this person is scared out of their mind uh that you're gonna end up hurting them now this could be because you guys have just a very different form of showing love um, but I think it's on a superficial level because I know that when Leos are in love or when you're really in it, you're wholeheartedly into it and you're extremely loyal. Um, but I feel like this person only knows you from the surface, meaning either you, this was something recent. It could have been someone that you were just recently dealing with. Um, for others of you, if this was a long term connection or someone you were dealing with for a very long time, I feel like they only got a glimpse of who you really are. And based on that impression, they're feeling like you're either going to play with them or you're going to play with their emotions. And for some of you guys, it's even them feeling like you're manipulative. And I'm feeling like, for a lot of you guys, you're feeling like this person is a emotional manipulator. It's kind of like... Uh, it's giving me a mirror effect type of energy where if you're mean to me, I'm going to be twice as mean to you. If you offended me, I'm going to offend you. If you ghost me when you reach out, I'm going to ghost you. That type of energy and it's very immature type of energy. I don't see communication and communication opening up for you guys. I feel like, yes, this person still cares for you and they still think of you. But I feel like at this point, they are either over the relationship 
or they're over the mind games is what I'm hearing. Four of Swords indicates there's no movement. They're not going to be making any type of... It's kind of like I'm waiting it out. I'm going to see how Leo reacts or if they're the ones to reach out. At this point, I'm done trying. Um, keep in mind it is a general reading, so it could be vice versa. But what I am hearing is mind games. So I don't know if it was something that you guys were kind of doing towards each other back and forth. Uh, I don't see any movement. Um, I don't see them reaching out to you. I feel like it's more of, I'm going to wait it out to see what Leo, you know, to see if Leo reaches out. Okay, let's see where they're at mentally, why they pulled away, or what is it that they're currently dealing with. I wish you would come back. So yeah, that's the energy I'm sensing. I'm definitely, like I said, I do see that they still care for you or they do have feelings for you, um, but I don't see them taking action towards you. I feel like it's kind of a waiting game. And I feel for, I feel, I'm going to be honest for both of you guys, I feel like both of you guys are taking the same energy. Like I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait for them to reach out and the other one's feeling or thinking the same. So it's like no one's making a move. And in that not making a move, um, nothing's going to happen. So, yeah, you could be prideful all you want. You know, sometimes that's not the best course of action because it you there's just no movement. All right, let's get into it with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. For those dealing with no contact, what can they expect in the next coming weeks? What changes? What is going to be unfolding for them? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, here we go. We have the Page of Wands, the Judgment, the Hierophant, the Star card, the Six of Pentacles, and the World card. And the Eight of Wands that I just seen. Okay, so there's definitely quick movement, quick momentum. Yes, they're coming back around Virgo. They made up their mind. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with this situation for a while, like where you just haven't heard from them in a bit. Um, but they've made up their mind and they're taking action towards it. There is something that has to do with commitment that either scared them. It could have been a conversation about, you know, making it official for others of you. It could have been a conversation about we've been together for a very long time. What the hell are we waiting for either to move in or get married? Um, there was something, a conversation of a higher level of commitment. And I feel because of that, there was a like a fear, some type of like, you know, what if there's more out there? What if, you know, um, there's more opportunities for some of you guys, they could have been entertaining other opportunities, but I feel like they've made the decision at this point. They've made up their mind. Um, the emperor card aggressive, they're ready. They're coming towards you. The star card, they're seeing you as the best they've ever had, or they're seeing you like, you know, this is a person that I've been hoping uh, or wishing for for a very long time. And here I had it. I, I need to make it right. And I feel like they're coming back around with the right intentions or good intentions. Six of Pentacles is being willing to give effort. I'll put in if you put in. I'm, I'm willing to make it work if you're willing to make it work. Let's take it to the next level with the world card here. So uh, beautiful reading here, um, Virgo. Let's see what was going on on their mind. What was going on in their mind? Why did they pull away? I am different now. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm hearing. Uh, there is a, a turnaround here. Um, I feel like for some of you guys in the beginning, when they do reach out, you're going to be very defensive about it. Um, but they're going to show you through actions that they've changed and that they're willing to put in the effort. And it's going to be shown through actions, not words. Uh, so this is definitely, I want to say the highest level of, um, the highest level of communication that's going to be opening up that we've seen so far, um, because they are right in the mind. The emperor, they've made up their mind. They know exactly what it is that they want. They see you as the star. They see you as the best they've ever had or they see you as everything i ever wanted six of pentacles i am here i am willing i'm on my knees let's make it work 
let's meet halfway the world card taking it to the next level so beautiful beautiful energy virgo so far the best reading <laughs> that's good i know that virgos often complain um life could be very challenging for virgos so it's very beautiful reading okay let's go to libra let's see what's going on with libras libra sun moon rising venus for those dealing with no contact, what can they expect, Spirit? What is unfolding for them in the next coming weeks? What can they expect? What changes? Okay, we have the first card here. Two of Pentacles, trying to make a decision here. Trying to bring balance. Okay. They could have been dealing with, um, they could have been dealing with two people at the same time. With you and someone else. Um, all right, we have the Death card here. The High Priestess the empress the four of wands wow and the lover's card you guys beautiful energy here okay so there was a bit of imbalance going on in this relationship or in this connection it had to come to a conclusion it had to come to some type of end or they recently uh brought an end to an outside energy it could have been someone that they hadn't moved on from yet while they were still dealing with you um, I feel like they're kind of taking inventory of where they're at right now in their life and what they're looking for and what they're ready uh, to receive or to give. Death card is complete transformation. The high priestess is they weren't being honest with you about a situation that was from their past um, that perhaps they were just not ready to move on from. But at this point, they've made the decision. Empress is knowing um, that you're beautiful, knowing that you're amazing, knowing that you deserve the type of higher level of commitment. Uh, it, it's almost what I'm hearing is there is a lot of loose ends that needed to be fixed before this person comes back around and fully invest in this relationship or in this connection. And that's exactly what's going to be unfolding for you guys. Four of wands is stability. It's let's make it official, Libra. Let's, let's, you know, let's get the ball rolling at this point. I like you, you like me, let's make it happen. The lover's card is making that choice, making that active decision. Let's work it out. Let's put effort in it. Um, it's also, you know, it, it's almost like the crossroads. Uh, should I turn right? Should I turn right? Should I turn left? Could have been, you know, that you were the right and the ex or the partner from the past was the left. Um, they made a quick left only to uh, close that chapter and they're coming back around, um, which is, for some of you guys, I know that if you're going through this situation and they just completely fell off and they're not communicating, it could be extremely emotionally draining. It's like a roller coaster. But I think that when a person decides to do that, sometimes they do that to protect you so that you don't get hurt. Let me deal with these loose ends when I'm ready and I'm focused and my attention is going to be to you then let's pick up where we left off and let's make it work. I'm not excusing that they're not communicating, but what I'm saying is sometimes that's necessary. All right, let's pull out an Oracle card here. We have, you didn't imagine it. So if you were feeling or thinking like, I thought it was a deep connection. I thought we had a lot of things in common. I thought we were in the same page and all of a sudden they just pulled away or they just communicate or ended communication it's like they're telling you, no, you didn't imagine it. They, they, they did. Uh, they do have feelings for you. They do want something long term here with the four of wands. So beautiful energy, Libra. All right, let's go now to Scorpio. We've been getting good readings after Virgo. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's unfolding for them in regarding or regarding the no contact situation what's going to be unfolding for them in the next coming weeks scorpio sun moon rising venus scorpio sun moon rising venus all right here we go we have the queen of cups seven of wands the ace of swords six of cups the moon and the king of wands okay so they're definitely watching you uh scorpio they're definitely watching you um i feel like for some of you guys you felt like there were things that were happening behind the scenes um for some of you guys you could have been aware that they were 
giving you signs that they weren't ready to move on completely from the past. For some of you guys, you could have even been aware that they were dealing with an ex um, or an ex could have gotten involved in this situation when they start to stir up drama and, and, and create confusion, right? They're trying to create chaos so that it doesn't work out with you guys um, in hopes that they would return to the person from the past. Um, and I feel like you kind of, you wanted to guard yourself. You wanted to protect yourself. Um, so I feel like for some of you guys, you kind of forcefully started to move on. And when I say forcefully, it's like, it wasn't that you were ready to move on. It was more so like survival of the fittest. I can't sit here and, you know, cry you a river. I need to get the ball rolling. I need to, you know, do me. Um, I see you very empowered, Scorpio, but I do see them coming back around. And the reason why they're coming back around is because they were confused about their emotions. They didn't know if they were over the ex. Clearly they weren't, if they were still entertaining the person from the past. Um, but I feel that th the absence of you or the not communicating with you kind of helped them uh, realize that there is potential in this connection. However, the Six of Cups with the Moon card, I feel like they're still not in complete, like, they haven't accepted that the end has come with the person from the past. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone that has children um, from an ex-partner, and it's, like, really difficult. It's, I feel them, they're still trying to figure out their life. They're still trying to glue their life back together so obviously uh the person from the past is making it much more difficult um i'm gonna be honest with you i do see that they will be reaching out to you but i feel like they're still not ready to give you the attention or um the relationship that you're wanting because i still see them stuck in the past i still see them stuck either from stuck to the ex-partner like they're not moving on yet or like I said, if there's children involved, I feel like that's taking priority right now. And, you know, it's, I see it messy. I'm going to be honest. Um, especially if there is like a baby mama or a baby daddy. Um, I feel like that person from the past pulls on their strings because of the children um, to try to have like control over their life. It's kind of like when two people separate and they break up, but but the ex still thinks that they can say or do whatever they want and that it's going to affect you or that you have to agree to whatever bullshit they throw your way. So in essence, they're not really moved on from the past. So I think that the more you entertain them, once they reach out, I feel like you're going to keep going in this. You're going to be put in a very uncomfortable situation where you're frustrated um if they are or they do have children um it's going to be very difficult for you to uh want them or expect them to put you first because i feel like they come with baggage not that children are baggage what i'm saying is the ex is baggage uh because they still have some type of control over their life and the card that i pulled out is i'm sorry so yeah i feel like they're just not ready to start anything or to give you a commitment or something official um something concrete or something stable i feel like this person is still going through their emotions and they still have a lot of healing to do all right my lovelies now we're going with sagittarius let's see what's going on with sagittarius if you guys like these readings definitely like comment uh if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get uh, updates of the newest videos going up as well as hit that notification bell. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with their no contact situation? What's going to be unfolding in the next coming weeks? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. We have the King of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Nine, or sorry, Eight of Swords, Death Card, Page of Wands, and Four of Pentacles. Uh, off the bat, uh, Sagittarius, if you were dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, there was definitely a third party situation 
that could have been the reason why they pulled back. That could have been the reason why they fell off or they ghosted you. Um, I feel like right now there is a bit like you're refusing to accept um, that they've ignored you or that they've ghosted you. There is a refusal of accepting an ending to this cycle. But what Spirit is telling you is at this point, Sagittarius, whether it was you or whether it was them, the ones that stepped out, because someone stepped out in this connection. Um, and the, the, the Three of Swords with the Eight of Swords, it's like they got to the point of saying or realizing, like, I I put myself in this situation, I caught caught, um, and I can't, I can't do anything about it, so they're just going to keep it pushing. I don't see them in the in their feels about it. So what I'm saying is if you found out that your partner or person of interest was dealing with someone else, instead of them trying to um, excuse that, it was kind of like they were the ones that became defensive. They were the ones that pushed you out or ignored you or blocked you. Um, and the death card is exactly the conclusion of this. Um, so with the page of wands, there is communication that opens up here, but what they're telling you is at this point in time, take it for what it is, Sagittarius. There's no point in trying to go back to a person that hurt you because they're going to continue to do so. Why? Because we teach people how we want to be treated by what we're able to put up with. So if this is something that is like, that ha happens constantly, um, you need to protect yourself at this point. You need to stop giving the person, you, you need to stop giving the knife to the person that continuously keeps stabbing you. Um, Four of Pentacles is protecting yourself, protecting your energy, not allowing yourself to be hurt again, not allowing yourself to be put in the same situation over and over, even if it's a different person. If they're giving you red flags or they're giving you the notion of understanding that there is something about them that you should not trust. Um, you should take that for what it is. Now, I am getting two different stories here. For others of you, it could have been you, the one that was carrying on a relationship when you started dealing with this King of Pentacles. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. So it could be a female or a male. It doesn't matter. It's an energy that I read. Um, and it could have been you that you felt like you were able to move on from someone from the past when you met this person or when you started dealing with them, uh, then you realize maybe I can work it out. You went back to dealing with the person from the past. Um, and, and at that point, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you made the wrong decision. And there is a desire to want to, you know, make it right. But what they're telling you here is you cannot start something. You can't start something new starting starting the, the wrong way because it's ultimately going to come to end in the wrong way. So what I'm saying is if you're dealing with people from the past and you're trying to move on from a person from the past by moving on to the next person, then you're moving on for all the wrong reasons and you're going to end up going back to that person from the past. I hope that makes sense um, because there is a cycle that's happening here. Either you have a tendency of jumping from one relationship to another without healing or your partner has a tendency of doing that. And if you met your partner while they were cheating on their person and that's how they got with you, chances are they're going to end up doing the same thing to you. So what they're telling you here, it's time to protect your energy. It's time to stop sitting there and waiting for people to act right. If they're teaching you that their child, child, um, childlike actions is something that is constant in their life, then believe that and stop entertaining. It's a waste of time at this point. Okay, let me pull out an oracle card here. What is the energy of their person of interest or why they pulled away? Where are they at mentally? Okay, and we have, I was careless with you. Exactly the energy I'm feeling. So again, it's, I understand that sometimes we want to see the best in people, but if they keep fucking up at some point, you need to open your eyes and say, okay, am I going to continuously keep handing over the knife to the person that keeps stabbing me? Um, outgrow that, ty that toxic cycle, Sagittarius, and keep it pushing because honestly, this I see this as a waste of time. All right, let's go now to Capricorn. 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If they're dealing with a no contact situation, what is unfolding for them? What can they expect? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. No contact situation. What is unfolding? All right, here we go. We have the Two of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Moon card. The Moon card keeps coming out a lot. The Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. I definitely see you in your feelings, Capricorn. You're missing this person. Um, this person is also missing you. Uh, but the, both of you guys are extremely stubborn and hard head. I feel like there is no... There's no change that is going to be unfolding in this connection because I see both of you guys are missing each other or hoping that one or the other reaches out. But this is a recurring cycle. So it's almost like when they have other things going on in their life that is exciting, that takes priority over you. And then when things start to go back to normal in their life, that's when they come back towards you. Why? Because you're the one that brings them stability. You're the one that gives them uh, that home feeling, right? The, 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 this person knows me, this person understands me, but yet when things are in the up and up for them, they want to run away from this connection. Why? Because you keep allowing them to feel like they're safe with you and like you're always going to be there. And what does that lead people to believe? That you're going to be there always. So they put you in a position of feeling or making you feel like they're taking you for granted because they are taking you for granted, Capricorn. The moon card with the six of cups indicates to me a lot of things that are hidden, a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes. They're not being honest with you. They keep going back and forth with the person from their past. This could be you as well because it is a general reading, but I'm reading the energy of the target or person of interest. And what they're showing me here is this person is a hot mess with their emotions. They don't know what it is that they want. They come and they tell you, oh, I'm looking for commitment. Oh, I'm looking for, I've been mistreated so bad. I've been hurt so many times. No, they have fucking not. They're the ones that have hurt people. They're the ones that play with people's emotions. This is a habit. This is something they have a tendency of doing. Um, so for you to be there and sit there and be like, oh, poor you. Like, let me give you all the love and let me give you all the understanding in the world. is not beneficial to you because it's only allowing them to think that you're always going to be there. So I'm going to mess up because you know what? Capricorn's going to take me back. I'm going to mess up because there's other things more exciting right now that want my attention and Capricorn's always going to be there. And what they're telling you here with the five of cups, there's no communication. Um, there is no initiative on this person's part that they're going to want to come towards you. And it could potentially be because you have a tendency of being the one to reach out. My advice in this situation, Capricorn, is know your effing worth. Know what you deserve and don't settle for any migajas, what we say in Spanish, right? Which is like, don't allow yourself to be given only the bare minimum. Like, no effing, don't do that. Like, Capricorn, you are a sign that is very capable. You are a sign that creates businesses. You are a sign that is all about power and, and um, you know, that is all about authority. Like, why is it that Capricorns have a tendency of like putting their hat, putting your, their heart on their hands and offering it to the person um, because you're committed or because you're invested in the situation? Even when you see red flags, you like to hope the best in people, but pay attention to traits, pay attention to behaviors and patterns. So what they're telling you here is, I don't see communication unfolding. I feel like there is a recurring cycle with you. You need to stop doing that. And like I said, you need to start really seeing your worth. Because when you know what you deserve, you don't settle for bare minimum. And if you do settle for bare minimum, you're teaching them it's okay to drop the ball. It's okay for them to not put effort in anything because they're always going to have you there. All right. And the Oracle card that we have is leaving, leaving you hurt, leaving you hurt me too. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, like I said, I, I, I heard very clearly, like I've been hurt in the past. 
I've been mistreated. And I feel like that's what they want you to believe. Um, but they're the ones that have a tendency of doing that. So they could be telling you exactly this, you know, leaving you hurt me too, but I'm doing it for because I'm looking out for you. I don't want to hurt you. I'm so toxic. I'm so broken. All of this is emotional manipulation, Capricorn. Wake the fuck up. All right. Now we're going to go with Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Oh, we have the Judgment card here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them? With the situation of no contact. So someone's making up their mind about something here. There is something that's being deliberated. Here we go. All right, we have the Nine of Swords, Temperance, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. All right, bottom came out, which is the High Priestess here. Okay, so what they're showing me is there was a decision that was made, and it took a while to make this decision. So you could have been dealing with a situation where they... They were kind of stringing you along. And I feel like in the very beginning, Aquarius, you could have been overly protected of yourself. Like you were extremely guarded. They put in the time to they put in the time to show you that they genuinely cared. Once your defenses were down, it's like you started to see this person's true character. And it's almost like they get a high or they get like this this thing that triggers them where they like to go after people. They like to connect with people that are very difficult um, to open up because they see it as a challenge. And I feel the moment you kind of put your defenses down or the moment you started to open up, you this person started to reveal their true character, who they really are. And they're sneaky. They're manipulative. Like I said, they have a habit of going for people that is a challenge to them because it has a lot to do with their ego and their pride. The high priestess here is an indication of a person that is extremely, extremely um, sneaky with the seven of swords. It's like they pretend to be something they're not or someone they're not. Um, and I feel like right now you feel like you've lost control of the situation and there's almost a feeling of like instant regret. Like I shouldn't have opened up. I shouldn't have let them get closer to me. Um, and in this process, I don't see them wanting to reach out to you, or I should say, I don't see them reaching out to you. I do see them wanting to reach out to you. Um, but they kind of feel like you've made up your mind already. And I think for a lot of you guys, you did in fact make up your mind. You don't like to waste your time and you don't like to feel like people are toying with your emotions. I think the best thing at this point is to walk away from the situation because like I said, this is a person that was playing you mentally. It's almost like when they like to string you along and make you feel like even when you express yourself or when you want to address certain things they turn the situation around and make it seem like you're the one that's wrong for thinking that way or you're the one that's wrong for feeling that way even though they're the ones that put you in that situation that made you feel that way so what they're telling you here is walk away from this connection because this is a very manipulative person this is a person that is sneaky as shit and a person that likes to play with people's emotions and i think that there's almost like this this like offensiveness right that you're feeling like how dare they think you know that they can that they can take me for granted or how dare they think that they can ghost me and then come back around and reach out to me like if nothing happened um i don't see that there's going to be communication opening up at least not in this month um but what they are telling you here is protect yourself this is the, it's time for you to move on from this situation there's no point in holding on to this I do wish you well. So yeah, I feel like there is not going to be any contact anytime soon because they know exactly what they did. They know um, that you're not a person that is easily manipulated. Um, and the moment that you're aware of that, you don't put up with that type of fuckery. So I feel like at this point, burn that bridge. All right, my lovelies. 
let's go to Pisces, our last sign. Like I said, if you guys like or enjoy these readings, definitely comment below. Let me know, and I will continuously keep putting or making videos for you guys. Um, oh, we have the first card here. Actually, now I'm going to put it back in. I didn't feel that strong to it. Okay, here we go. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them with the no contact situation that they're dealing with at this point? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Like I said, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so you guys can get notified of the newest videos going up. For the you guys returning, thank you, my lovelies. I appreciate you guys. All right, here we go, Pisces. All right, Pisces, your first card is the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the World card, the Hermit, the Strength card, the Devil. Wow, what the hell is going on? <laughs> you guys have a lot of major arcanas here. Okay, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been dealing with the situation where the person is actually involved meaning they are either in a committed relationship, they are married, or they're living with the person. Now, for some of you guys, you could have been aware of this. For others of you, there is a feeling. Um, it's kind of like intuitively picking up that something is off. It's almost like they contact or communicate with you at certain times throughout the day. Um, they're not that accessible, and the reason for it is, again, like I said, I do see them being involved. This is a person that has a tendency of stepping out of the relationship. They portray themselves as being extremely private. This could be a person that tells you, oh, I don't have social media because I don't like people all in my business. Or I don't have social media because I'm just not into that. Bullshit. The reason why they're telling you is because they know they're committed or they know they are in a serious relationship and they don't want you to know about it. Um... It's like this person is very good at, at going or being under the radar so they don't get attention, but it is a habit. And the strength card with the devil card, this is a person that has a tendency of stepping out of the relationship. You could be dealing with the person that has like a, um, that is ruled uh, by desire. So this could be a person that has like a, sexual issues um so what i mean by that is like you could actually be dealing with the person that actively gets or goes out of his or her relationship um because they enjoy the thrill or the chase uh the devil and the strength card together is uh someone that's ruled basically by the root chakra which is you know a person that likes to hop from one from one person to the other um, what they are telling you here is, you know, walk away from this situation, Pisces, because I feel like for some of you guys, it's putting you in a very uh, dangerous situation. What I'm hearing is um, uh, sexual transmitted diseases. Uh, so if you are dealing with someone that you know is married and we're, we pass no judgment here, OK, I'm not judging you. I don't judge anyone. We we don't give a shit about none of that. I am not um, the judgmental type, okay? You guys are, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, you already know how I roll. So that out the window. What I'm saying is you do need to take care of yourself. You do need to take care of your physical body and make sure that no tainted person that has no respect for their body to come and, you know, essentially put you in a very dangerous situation. So again, if you are dealing with someone that you're aware is married um, and you're still okay with that, be careful because this person may be having physical issues that they're not relating to you or that they're not opening up about that can potentially put you in a very dangerous situation uh, physically. So again, mind you, keep this in mind, take care of yourself. Now for others of you, um, this could be you, Pisces, that you have a tendency of being in a committed relationship, yet it doesn't work out or the moment you feel like they're not giving you the attention that you want, uh, you will step out of the relationship. And this is a trait. This is a habit. So again, there needs to be a break in this cycle only because it's leading you down very 
a negative path, okay? And like I said, we don't do judgment here. But what I am hearing is for a lot of you guys, there is almost a feeling like something is missing in your life and you try to fill that void either, either through sex, through drugs, or through alcohol. And this, and the reason, if you are dealing with this, the reason why you're doing that is as a form of escapism because you don't want to accept that your life is what it is right now. Um, again, it is a general reading. This could be you or this could be your partner. But what they're saying here is, if it is you, Pisces, that you're currently dealing with this situation, you have to bring an end to this cycle. If you are in an, a marriage and you are in an unhappy marriage, what's the point of being in a relationship if you're often feeling like you're alone? Shouldn't the route to be single be best for you because you don't have to give or explain yourself to anyone and you have that freedom versus being in a committal relationship and still stepping out of the relationship because you feel like your partner's not giving you what you're looking for. There is some type of reflection that needs to happen here, Pisces. Um, and it's kind of like a situation where, you know, when I'm dealing with the client and I see that they are stepping out of the relationship, um, they're quick to say, you know, well, yeah, because, you know, my partner, you know, she doesn't do this or he doesn't do this. He, you know, he doesn't give me emotional support. And I understand that. I understand that completely. But that still doesn't give you the right to step out of a relationship. And if you loved yourself enough or if you knew exactly what you deserve, you would not be okay settling with a mediocre relationship um, just because of what others may say or the family or your kids or whatever. You wouldn't settle for that. You would know that you deserve better and to walk away from, from that if it's not fulfilling you in any shape, way, or form. So again... Do I see them, you know, communicating with you or opening communication? Absolutely. And for some of you guys, it could be a text at night where they're like, hey, I miss you. I want to see you. Let's hang out. But in reality, it's just to take you to bed. So it's time you open your eyes and walk away from this uh, Pisces. If you do uh, or if you are dealing with this type of situation where the person only, you know, or even when they text or communicate, it's very sexualized. And the reason for it is because they see you as an object. Um, it's time for you to realize that you deserve better than that, sweetheart. Okay, let's pull out what is um, the energy of the target or person of interest, where are that mentally? I mean, I think we already know what it is here, but I'm still, you know, going to pull out this card and it says, I scared myself that day. So, Again, the first message that came through, someone's not being completely honest about their sexuality or what they're exposing themselves to that would expose you to that as well. So my advice is, you know, like I said, we do no judgment here. Uh, if you're going into it with open with eyes wide open, then that's fine. Just make sure to take care of yourself um, because you don't know what this person could be exposed to and inevitably would accidentally um put you in a very wrong situation or a very difficult situation you just don't want to deal with that pisces all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed these readings like share and comment and we'll see each other soon till then see you soon bye <laughs>